tonight as election results come in. WBZ and CBS News will be bringing you updates all night. CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell joins me now live from the Times Square studio, which was built just for election night. Nora, great to have you with us. Want to know how that technology in the studio is going to make the network's coverage stand out on election night. Well, good evening to you. Yes, live from Times Square and our news studio where we have incredible new technology here to bring you on election night. What does it mean? Well, state-of-the-art data coming in so that we can share with you results as soon as we get them. And we've got graphic displays to sort of show you how everyone is voting. We can go county by county in places like Pennsylvania and Massachusetts and Florida, um, Georgia, another key battleground state. So it's more information essentially than we've ever had before at our fingertips and the kind of technology that I think we'll really enjoy watching on election night, including some cool, cool graphics about control of the United States Senate, because that's the other big storyline on election night. Could Democrats retake the United States Senate as well and what that would mean certainly for the future of our country? Well, you just mentioned some of those battleground states. Nora, how does CBS News approach its coverage of such an unpredictable election with so many different stories? Well, we do it with a lot of reporting, you know, reporters on the ground talking to voters, um, looking, talking to both campaigns, finding out what are the key issues. We're going to have exit polls, which Skip is this one, please. Uh, we talked to over 100,000 people about why they voted the way they did. One of the key questions as we head into election night, suburban women. They're going to be the one of the most decisive factors in this election. Remember, you heard President Trump recently saying, please love me to suburban women. Well, the reason he said that is because suburban women can be so decisive in this election. They had voted for President Trump in many states in the last election. It looks like they're swinging back to Joe Biden, so that's a key factor. Also, Latino voters. It looks like Joe Biden may be underperforming how Hillary Clinton did among Latino voters. Will that hurt him in a state like Florida or Arizona? or Texas remains to be seen. So all of those different things, we're looking at different demographics, and I think at the bottom of the line, you know, no matter what the polls say, it's do you get your supporters to the poll? It looks like the Democrats have done a good job with early voting, getting many people to vote by absentee and mail-in ballot and that early voting. The Republicans, the Donald Trump campaign said their team is ready. They are going to show up big time on Election Day, so expect long lines tomorrow. All right. Nora O'Donnell, looking forward to the coverage tomorrow night. We will be live on the air. Thanks for spending some time with us tonight. CBS News coverage begins tomorrow, 7 o'clock here on WBZ. David? Lisa, Nora, thank you so much.